Yesterday was Thanksgiving, a day upon which Americans gather in large numbers to count their blessings and have dinner with family, friends, and elephants. Elephants? Yes, elephants. There's always at least three elephants in the room at Thanksgiving. One of them, of course, is the inconvenient truth that Thanksgiving commemorates how the Native Americans shared food with pilgrims from Europe to help them survive the winter, when European settlers would go on to commit genocide against those same Native Americans. The second elephant, of course, is that Thanksgiving is basically a celebration of immigration. And Americans love celebrating their immigrant heritage. You know, as an immigrant myself, Americans love coming up to me and telling me about where their ancestors were from and how they traveled overseas to trace their roots. So you'd think it would be easy for Americans to realize and remember the benefits that immigration brings to a country. Immigrants contribute to economic growth. The crime rate is generally lower among immigrant populations. Working immigrants are bolstering the aging population, and so on and so on and so on. Except, of course, this country is now working harder than ever to restrict immigration and using some of the most inhumane tactics imaginable. Separating families at the border, putting kids in what amount of prison camps. Immigration made this country what it is, for better and for worse. An economic powerhouse fueled by almost open immigration and the third elephant in the room, which of course is forced immigration of enslaved people from Africa. Now this is a lot of elephants, and they're all immigration elephants. And at this point you might be wondering, well what's this guy's deal? Is he pro-immigration or not? I mean, pilgrims bad, slavery definitely bad, immigrants at the border good? Make up your mind. And he's an immigrant himself, he's not even from here, how dare he? Presumably he's okay with his own migration, and if he isn't, shouldn't he just go back where he came from? Well, what ties all of these immigration elephants together is power. Genocide and slavery were both abuses of power, as is the current situation at the border. And a common theme through these abuses of power is race. And before you argue that the way Native Americans and enslaved people from Africa were written about in those times is just a reflection of the ignorant attitudes of those times, perhaps you should listen to how the president describes immigrants from Central and Southern America. And those ludicrous descriptions of murderers and rapists flooding across the border reveal what's really behind these racial abuses of power. And that is fear. Fear of difference. Me, I don't feel like I personally have a great deal of power. My immigration process was long and laborious but it was smooth, there were no cages for me. I've never felt anything but welcome, even by Americans who have said terrible things in my presence about immigrants from Central and Southern America. And that's because they didn't see me as one of those kind of immigrants, and thus, I wasn't a source of fear. And some of those same Americans who are descended from immigrants, work with immigrants every day, buy food and other things from immigrants, would say, well, they don't mean them when they're talking about immigrants. And that's because we humans are basically still primitive creatures. Anything different provokes a fight or flight response, and our defenses go up. And while we don't view the people we see every day as different, when we think of immigrants as this monolithic thick, faceless other, then it's much easier to demonize them. And before you know it, you've got children in cages at the border. I'd like to think we're better than this, but basically, we're not. Humans, we're garbage. This has been another rant from a chaise long. Thanks for watching. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope you enjoyed the turkey.